welcome once again to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu's tutorial. And in this YouTube video, I will be covering some important MCQ questions along with explanations on English literature for the upcoming EDUCENET exam. This is 500 MCQ series. I am conducting 500 MCQ series for the upcoming EDUCENET exam on English literature. This is here part 1. So, let's get into the video without delaying. But before starting the session, this is my humble request to all of you that to subscribe the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notification that I will upload in future. So here is your first question on your screen. Let's get into the video with this wonderful question. So here first question is on your screen. The first question is that Venus object is a play in blank verse by the English dramatist and poet named the author. So here is a play that is called Venus object and this Venus object was written in blank verse by which English dramatist and poet. Now, your options are Christopher Fry, Norman Mailer, Graham Greene, James Baldwin. So, the right option here is Christopher Fry. Christopher Fry has written the play in blank words that is called Venus Observed. So, here A is right option and here is the explanation. Venus Observed is a play in blank words by the English dramatist and the poet Christopher Fry and the play concerns a duke who decides to remarry for third for the third time and he gets his son Edgar to pick the bride and the duke likes Perpetua, Perpetua but Edgar wants her for himself. Moving ahead to the next question, question number two. The dark is light and up. This is a verse play published in the year 1954. So this is a verse play. The dark is light and up. Is a play written by Christopher Fry, Norman Mailer, Graham Greene, James Baldwin. So the dark is light and up. This uh, play was also written by Christopher Fry. Christopher Fry has written the play The Dark is Light Enough. He has also written the famous play that is The Lady is Not for Burning. The Lady is Not for Burning. The Lady is Not for Burning. So this is a famous play uh, written by Christopher Fry and this is a three act play mm, in verse. Three act play in verse. So here, the lady is not for burning is another famous work written by Christopher Fry. So Christopher Fry has written first one that is Venus Observed, the second one is the dark is light enough, and another famous work, the most famous written by Christopher Fry is the lady is not for burning, which is which has three acts and it was written in verse. Moving on to the question number here is the explanation: the dark is light enough is a verse play in the year it was published in the year 1954, and which he wrote for whom? For Dame Edith, for Dame Edith events, and it uh, the set during the Hungarian Revolution of 1848. So the setting was, and the the, the story sets during the Hungarian Revolutions of 1848. And it is a formally it is formally a comedy, but Christopher Fry has subtitled the play as a winter comedy. So he has subtitled the play that is the lark is light enough as a winter comedy to signal its tragic quality and this play was also directed by directed by Peter Brook and premiered at Aldwys Theatre in London, UK in May 1954. Moving on to question number 3. Novels like Our Father's House, Soldier and the Gentlewoman and The Battle to the Weak were written by. So here are three novels. First one is Her Father's House published 1930. The Soldier and the Gentlewoman published in the year 1932. And the last one that is the Battle to the Week that was published in the year 1925. These novels were written by French novelists. Hilda Vaughan, Charles Langbridge Morgan, Brendan Wehan, James Baldwin. So, you know, these novels were written by Hilda Vaughan, an Irish author. So, yeah, Hilda Vaughan has written Her Father's House, The Soldier and the Gentleman and The Battle to the Week. So, here A is right option. Moving on to the question number 4. The Queer Fellow. It's a play. It was first produced in the year 1954. So the queer fellow and the title is taken from a hyperno English pronunciation of queer. Name the author. The queer fellow is a play first produced in 1954. The title is taken from a hyperno English pronunciation of queer and name the author. Your options are Hilda Vaughan, Charles Langbridge Morgan or Charles Morgan, Brendan Wehan, James Baldwin. So here the queer fellow is a play and it was written by uh, the Brendan Wehan. Brendan Wehan has written The Queer Fellow. And it was published in the year 1950. And this is the debut play. 
This is the fourth play written by Brendan Behan. This is the debut play, and the title is taken from a high Bengali English pronunciation of queer. And the play is set in Mountjoy Prison in Dublin. And the anti-hero of the play is the queer fellow. Uh, and the queer fellow of this play is the anti-hero of the play, and is never seen or heard. He functions as the play's central conceit, and he is a man who is condemned to die on the following day for killing his brother. So he is condemned to die because he has killed his brother. So who is the anti-hero? The queer fellow, the titular character. Queer fellow is the anti-hero of the play written by Brendan Wehan, and it is the debut novel written by Brendan Wehan. Moving on to question number five, Bootstall Boy. Bootstall Boy is a 1950 autobiographical book. and the book was banned in ireland for unspecified reasons in the year 1958 the ban expired in 1970 name the author so here is a autobiographical book here is an autobiographical book called bootstall boy and this was published in the 1958 and due to some reasons that some unspecific or unspecified reasons this book was banned in ireland in the year 1958 and at a certain point of time in the year 1970 the ban was expired The band expired. So name the author: Hilda von Charles Morgan, Brendan Behan, James Baldwin, James Baldwin. So Baldwin. So here, Bootstall Boy is an autobiographical work. This was also written by Brendan Behan. Brendan Behan has written Bootstall Boy. So here, A that is, ah, uh, C is right option. Yeah, C. Brendan Behan has written Bootstall Boy, and this is an autobiographical book. This is an autobiographical book. So here. So another question, question number six, the Burning Glass. The Burning Glass, the 1954 dramatic play by Hilda von Charles Morgan, Brendan Wayne, James Baldwin. So the Burning Glass is a 94 dramatic play written by Charles Morgan. Charles Morgan has written Brendan. Uh, Charles Morgan has written the Burning Glass, which is a 1954, 1954 dramatic play. So here B is right option. Question number seven, in which play Charles Morgan's Has told that Charles Morgan survived the impact of modern scientific inventions upon the soul of humanity. So, in which play Charles Morgan survived the impact of modern scientific inventions upon the soul of humanity? The Guinea Pig, the Burning Glass, the River Line, the Dog Beneath the Sky. So, here the right option is the Burning Glass. So, in this is the play written by Charles Morgan. And in this play, Charles Morgan has survived the impact of modern scientific inventions upon the soul of humanity. So here, B is adoptions. The Burning Glass, the Burning Glass, tells the story of Christopher Terryford. So here, who is a British scientist, Christopher Terryford. The Burning Glass is about the British scientist named Christopher Terryford, who who discovers a new method of capturing solar energy. Now, what he has discovered? He has discovered a method of capturing solar energy. And the burning glass can greatly benefit mankind, but it can also be used to wipe out distant targets with devastating flame. So, like the atomic bomb, it holds the potential to destroy mankind. Because of this, Terry Ford would give his discovery to the British government instead of depositing half of the formula, half the formula in a bank, and other other half in his wife's memory. So, here is the question number eight. The name a vast philosophical prosody is given to Aurobindo Ghosh which poem Elian Sabitri life divine the future poetry the name it's a vast philosophical prose epic is given to Aurobindo's Aurobindo Ghosh Elian or Sabitri the life divine the future poetry so the right option is here the life divine the life divine here the life divine is the right options which is a vast philosophical prose epic okay moving at question number nine which of the following is not it's not a novel Written by Truman Capote. It's not a novel by Truman Capote. Breakfast at Tiffany is written by Truman Capote. In Cold by Truman Capote. The Catcher in the Rye. Other Voices in Other Rooms. This one was written by. Whereas the Catcher in the Rye was written by J. D. Salinger. J. D. Salinger has written the Catcher in the Rye. So here C is right option. Which is not a novel written by Truman Capote. Truman Capote has written Breakfast at Tiffany is in Cold Blood. Other Voices in Other Rooms. Whereas the Catcher in the Rye was written by J. D. Salinger. So here C is right option. Moving at the question of ten, who is the central figure in Hawthorne's *The Scarlet Letter*? Hawthorne's Hawthorne's *Scarlet Letter* में कौन central figure है? Who is the central figure in Hawthorne's *Scarlet Letter*? All is here: Daisy Miller, Maggie Tulliver, Hester Prynne. You know that is very easy. Hester Prynne is the central character, the central figure in Hawthorne's *The Scarlet Letter*. So here D is the options. Whereas Olivia appears in *Shakespeare's Twelve Night*. Uh, Daisy Miller is a novel written by Daisy Miller is a novel written by 
Henry James, it's a novel. It's a novel written by Henry James. It was written by Henry James. And Maggie Tulliver, the character, appears in Meal on the Floors by George Eliot. Uh, Meal on the Floors, that is George Eliot's Meal on the Floors. Meal in the Floors. And it was written by, uh, it was written by uh, George Eliot, Maggie Tulliver. Maggie Tulliver appears in Meal on the Floors. Whereas, D.G. Miller is a novel written by Henry James and Olivia appears in three minutes written by Shakespeare. And Hester Pine is the prime figure, the central figure in Hawthorne's The Scarlet Letter. So, D is the adoption of Barrier. Moving on to question number 11. Citizen of the World is a collection of letters written by Oliver Goldsmith, William Hazard, Charles Lamb, so Hawthorne. The Citizen of the World is a collection of letters written by Oliver Goldsmith. The Citizen of the World and this work was written by whom? It was written by none other than Oliver Goldsmith. Oliver Goldsmith written this work. And it is a collection of letters written by Oliver Goldsmith from the perspective of the fictional Lian Chi Altangi, a Chinese philosopher living in London. And the letters were originally published separately in series, of, in series from January 1762 to August 1761 in the Daily Journal, that is the Public Leisure. So it is published in the Daily Journal called the Public Leisure. That was led to uh, Will, uh, that is Oliver Goldsmith. The Citizen of the World is a collection of letters. The phrase, the theatre of absurd. The theatre of absurd was invented by John Osborne, no, Samuel Beckett, no, Harold Pinter, no, Martin Esselin. Martin Esselin has coined the phrase the theatre of absurd. Whereas, theatre of cruelty was coined by Anton Artut. Theatre of cruelty was coined by Anton Artut. Theatre of absurd was coined by Martin Esselin. Martin Esselin. Okay, moving ahead to question number 13. He never takes devotees, historical facts, as Shakespeare does, but it's accurate to the smallest details. Which uh, who, who is mentioned here? He never takes liberty. Uh, he, makes, he, uh, he never takes liberties with historical facts as Shakespeare does. But he, but, but, but is accurate to the smallest details. This has been said by Marlowe, Ben Johnson's Webster, Beaumont. So this line was spoken about Ben Johnson. So Ben Johnson is accurate to the smallest details. So here B is right option. Moving on to question number fourteen. Gabriel is a prominent figure, the central figure in the main male character in Hardy's novel. Which novel is this? Pace, uh, Jude Dovsky, Far From the Madding Club, The Return of the Native. So, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel O is the prime figure, the central figure, the, the central protagonist, central male protagonist in this novel. Each uh, the novel is here, Far From, Far From the Madding Club. C is the adoption here, Far From the Madding Club. Uh, here is the, uh, here is the uh, explanation. That the fictional character Gabriel O, a skillful, hardworking, honest young farmer in Thomas Hardy's novel. That is far from the Madding Crow, published in 1874. The novel zero, Gabriel O is a farmer, the shepherd is a belly, marked by his humble and honest way and his exceptional skill with animals and farming and unparalleled royalty and he is about as first written later to the belly on her farm and finally her husband at the very end of the novel. Okay. The American scholar is a lecture. The American scholar is a lecture by Edgar Allan Poe, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Robert Frost. So here, American scholar is a lecture by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Ralph Waldo Emerson's uh, this was this was a speech given by the American scholar was a speech given by Ralph Waldo Emerson on August 31, 1837, to the Phi Beta Kappa Phi Beta Kappa Society of Harvard College at the first Paris in Cambridge, Cambridge, Massachusetts. So the American scholar is a post speech given by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Which poem by Byron made him famous overnight? Don't do No, Child Harold's pilgrimage tell you all are the vision of judgment. So here Byron's Child Harold's pilgrimage has made him famous. Made him famous overnight. So here B is the adoption. Here is the explanations. The poet Byron was famous for his swaggering good looks and his brilliant, reckless personality. And the publication of the poem called that is Charles Harold's pilgrimage in the year 1812 made, his, made him famous overnight. Moving on to question number 17. A thing of beauty is joy forever. A thing of beauty is joy forever. Prompts the opening line of kids which poem. Hyperion, no. Hyperion, Endymion, Lamia, no. Odongresian, no. So the a thing of beauty is a, is a joy forever. This is the opening line of kids poem that is called Endymion. Endymion is right option here. Moving on to question number 18. Robert Sadi became the player of one of the... Uh, uh, that is, Robert Sadi became uh, the poet laureate in the year 1830, no, 1813, 45, 1890. So here he became uh, one of the, uh, the poet laureate in the year 1813. So here 1813 is the right option. In the year 1813, Robert Sadi became poet laureate. Moving on to question 19, the old wife tales. The old wife tales is a novel written by Hardly Henry James Arnold Bennett, Georgian Gelsty. 
So here the old wife still is a novel written by Arnold Bennett. Arnold Bennett has written the old wife still. So moving on to question number 20. Devotions upon emerging location. This is a post work by Axton, William Axton. John White to John, uh, here will, uh, then John really or uh, John Dunn. So, devotions upon emergence occasions is a prose work done by John Dunn. John Dunn has written devotions upon emergent occasions and here is explanations. Devotions upon emergent occasions and several steps in my sickness. The prose work by English Federal Metaphysical Poet, it was published in 17, uh, 1624. It covers death, rebirth, and the Elizabethan concept of sickness as a visit from God, reflecting inter, uh, internal sinfulness. The devotions were written in December 1623 as Dan has recovered from, uh, as, uh, from a serious but unknown illness believed to be relapsing fever or typhus. Having come to having come close to death, he described the illness he had suffered from, uh, from and his thoughts throughout the throughout his recovery with near superhuman speed and concentration. So, okay. The devotions is divided into 23 parts, is consisting three subsections called the meditations and expo expostulations and a prayer. And the 23 sections okay, are chronologically ordered, each covering, each covering his thoughts and reflections on a single day of the illness. Famously, the 17 devotions, uh, meditation, uh, that is the part 17, that is, includes the phrase that is, no man is an island. And it has helped, it, it, it has helped uh, Ernest Hemingway to, uh, to, to, to give his name of, a, name of a novel, name of a novel. And often a modernist as no man is an island and for whom the bell tolls. Sorry, the for, for whom the bell for whom the bell tolls. And this phrase has helped uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway to make uh, to make a title of his novel for whom the bell tolls. For whom the bell tolls. Okay. And here is uh, question number 21. The title of the novel, The Spy, is regarded as the first of the great American novelists. Okay. The writer of the novel, The Spy, is regarded as the first of the great American novelist. Who is he? Washington Irving, James Fenimore Cooper, Nathaniel Hawthorne, or Edgar Allan Poe. Sorry. So, the writer of the novel, The Spy, is regarded as the first of the great American novels, and it was written by, it was written by none other than James Fenimore Cooper. James Fenimore Cooper has written The Spy. Moving ahead to question number 22. And the spy, here is the explanation The Spy. The Spy, a tale of the neutral ground, is a novel by American writer James Fenimore Cooper, and the plot is setting during the American Revolution. And what, and was inspired in part by the family friend John Gay. And the spy was successful and he began Cooper's reputation as a popular and important American writer. Moving to question 22. Eureka is a prose poem. Eureka is a prose poem by Washington Irving, James Fenimore Cooper, Nathan Hawthorne, Edgar Allan Poe. So Edgar Allan Poe has written the prose poem called Eureka. So here D is adoption. And Eureka is a 1848 lengthy non-fiction work. So this is a non-fiction work by American author Edgar Allan Poe, which he subtitled a prose poem. Eureka and this subtitle is approach poem. Thought, though it has been, it has, it has also been subtitled, subtitled as an essay on the material and the spiritual universe. So he has subtitled approach poem. Sometimes it has, it has also been subtitled as an essay on the material and spiritual universe. So Eureka approach poem written by Edgar Allan Poe. There is a character, important character, Militel. Militel is a prominent character in Henry James' novel, The Golden Bull. The Wings of the Dark, The Princess, The Portrait of the Lady. So, Milithel is a prominent character in the Henry James novel, The Wings of the Dark. Here, B is added up here. Milithel appears in the novel, The Wings of the Dark, written by uh, Henry James. So, here, question number 24, moving, uh, and here, sorry, here is the explanations. 1902 is a novel, The Wings of the Dark, by Henry uh, James. It tells the story of Milithel, an American virus, striking with serious disease and her effect on the people around her. Some of these people will be friendly of family with honorable motives, while others are more self-interested. We are close to 24. Thakkar is the lag of Barry London. Lag of Barry London, Linden, sorry, Thakkar is the lag of Barry London, is a novel, psychological novel, thickerish novel, historical novel, autobiographical novel. So Thakkar is the lag of Barry London, is a, is a thickerish novel. So here, B is the option here. The lag of Barry London is a, is a thickerish novel written by William McPhee And here is the explanations. The Picardic novel, Lag of Barry Lyndon, by William McPhee Thicare, Thicare, first published in the serial Feathers magazine, 1844, about a member of the Irish gentry, trying to become a member of the English aristocracy. So, the English gentry is trying to become a member of the English aristocracy. Thicare, who based the novel of the, on the life, of, uh, the life and exploits of the English Irish rake and fortune hunter Andrew Robinson Stoney, later reissued it under the title, The Memoirs of Barry Lyndon. And the novel is narrated by Lyndon himself, who functions as a quintessentially unreliable, with an unreliable narrator of the novel, Picardist from the Lago Barry. Novelist Henry James, and he has written novels like 
the American that's published in the year first novel he did in the American 1877. Daisy Millard is that novella that was published in the 1879. Whereas Washington Square is a novel written by 1880. The Portrait of a Lady is a famous published in 1881. The Bostonians 1886. The Aspen, the Aspen Papers 1888. Uh, what makes new 1897 and here are some famous work with the turn of the screw 1898 the wings of the dark where milithian appears as a prominent figure the wings of the dark 1902 the ambassadors and the golden bowl so these were famous uh, works written by henry james and the following are some of the key points from his major works the american james first novel tells the story of an american businessman who travels to europe to find a wife and Daisy Miller's novella that explores the clash between American and European cultures as seen through the story of a young American woman and her experience in Italy. Washington Square is a novel about young women named Catherine Sloper. So Washington Square is about Catherine Sloper who is quoted by a fortune hunter and must decide between love and financial security. The portrait of a lady considered by many to be James Masterpiece and tells the story of Isabel Archer. Isabel Archer is the main protagonist of Portrait of a Lady, a young American woman who travels to Europe and must navigate the complexities of love, wealth, and power. And here another, the Boston Ends, a novel that explores the feminist movement in Boston in the late 19th century, as seen as through the story of young women and, they, and the two very different men who become involved in her life. The Ambassadors is a 1903 novel, but about a middle-aged man who travels to Europe to bring his young, wayward son back to America. Along the way, he becomes involved with his charming but manipulative women who challenges his moral values. And the last one is The Golden Bowl, a novel about the complex relationships between four people, including a wealthy American businessman and his daughter, as they navigate love, marriage, and betrayal. So the, and the famous one is The Wings of the Dark, and then the main character, Millie Lapids, who is dying of mysterious illness, and her friend, Kat Corey, Kat Corey, Kat Corey, convinces her lover, Martin Denser, to quote Millie in the hopes of inheriting her fortune after her death. And what makes new, a novel about a young girl named Mary's French, which parents are divorced and constantly fighting over custody and mage becomes a spawn in their battles and must learn to navigate the complexities of adult relationship at young age. So these were all 25 questions and I have discussed a short summary of the novels written by Henry James. Thank you once again for watching the video and if you want me to make video on any particular topic you can suggest to me you can write it in the comment box. I will definitely try my best to make video on this topic. Thank you once again.